we're going to take a couple of minutes to talk about sweets and treats and this time where, you know, again, some of us have maybe not eaten as well, not moved as well. We want to talk about one of the things that, that we have lots of control over, and that's the amount of, of, of sweets we eat. And sugar and sugar hidden in lots of things. As you look on here, when we talk about these, these are really the treats that are tremendous for you, healthy. Every color gives you something more than just calories and, and more than just sugar. You know, there's so many healthy antioxidants. So not all sugars are created equal. And, and sometimes I, I think that, that, that we think that. I laugh and people that have been in very many talks, I'll do something on nutrition and somebody raises their hand and asks the question that everyone that ever heard me speak is quiet to ask. Well, I heard there was sugar in carrots. And I, I laugh a little bit because no one ever asked me if there's sugars in donuts or ho-hos or Twinkies, but don't ask me if there's sugars in carrots. I, 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 th I think that's just way unfortunate that we haven't been taught the difference between sugar that's refined and sugar that we find naturally occurring in, in fruits. <clears throat> but also know that if we take a fruit, we make a juice out of it. I'll show you a slide in a few minutes, but it just absolutely changes everything. Um, sugary drinks, I mean, we, we consistently top the world in empty calories. So, so think about that. We have calories that all calories are, are really empty unless they have nutrition with them. So my body is very good at saying I've had enough nutrition. So you typically never hear anybody say, oh, I just can't stop eating broccoli. Because when I get enough vi B vitamins, I get enough vitamin A vitamin. When I get enough vitamins, my body will turn off and, and say, that's enough. I've had enough of that food. But calories, we really, have, the only turnoff point for calories is stretching my stomach. And, and unless I eat enough food to stretch my stomach, I, I will continue to be hungry. So calories, do, empty calories especially, do not stop me from being hungry. In fact, they, 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 they do the opposite. And especially if I eat what they call low, low or high um, calorie, low um, um, volume foods. So if I eat something that has a lot of calories, but it's not very big, it takes a long time to fill up my stomach. I can eat tons of potato chips in that, a whole bag of potato chips. I could never eat the same size of, of broccoli or even the same weight of broccoli. I'd stop way before it. So I, I think that we really have to think about it. Sugar's been linked to everything from emotional disorders to cancer to, to, to osteoporosis to stomach orders to you know, uh, breathing. I mean, there's nothing that sugar hasn't been linked to. Empty calories, we really wanna stay away from empty calories. So if we look at this, and this is just a great graph that shows, so if I have um, water, I have zero so, um, 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 uh, teaspoons of that. If I have vitamin added water, so we, the vitamin water is out there, we have eight teaspoons of, of sugar. If I have some of the power drinks in that, the sports drinks, I have nine teaspoons of sugar in that. If I have orange juice, I, I, and 100% orange juice, I have 11 uh, teaspoons. So eating an orange is way better. If I have a lot of the energy drinks on the market, I have 13 teaspoons of sugar. If I look at some of the, the, the sweetened teas in that, 14 tablespoons of sugar. And you know, you really take a tablespoon, not a teaspoon, but take a tablespoon, take 14 um, 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 uh, tablespoons and put them on a plate. I mean, it, it's almost unbelievable. I mean, you would never look at that much sugar and say, I wanna eat that. If we look at you know, non-diet soda drinks, 15 tablespoons. And if I look at juiced drinks, so again, you know, they're not 100% juice, they're a juice drink. We have 17 teaspoons of sugar. Those are an enormous amount of, of non-calorie um, or calorie without any nutrition that, I mean, again, none of us need that. And, you know, so often we get tired. And, and again, I, I, this whole energy um, I'm drink craze, well, if we're tired, our body's telling us we need to take better care of it. So I think we need to be really, really careful about, about it. Recommended daily added uh, sugar limits for kids, six teaspoons. So if they have e anything, it's over six teaspoons in that. I think that we have to be so careful careful about that. So how do we reduce sugar without eliminating? Elimin eliminating? We, we really decide that, am I so addicted to my sweet drinks? Because I've had lots of patients say, they come in, they look great. You know, what did you, well, I, I used to drink four cans of, of, of pop a day. I drink zero, just getting those calories out. You think just getting those 15 tablespoons of sugar four times out of their diet, they change nothing else. So sugar, there's, there's no need. We don't have to have it. Our body will make enough from the foods that, that we have. So it's empty calorie sugars. We want to be so good about that. One of the bad things about the, you know, the coronavirus is I, there's hardly anybody that's coming here that hasn't gained weight. We, we, 
even we've gotten so crazy with sugar that if you have ketchup that does not have sugar in it, you have to call it artificial ketchup. Sugar is one of the main ingredients in that. So many of our foods just addict us to sugar. Um, I think that, you know, there's several books out there that talk about fast food nation. They talk about our food chain, our food supply, but 33% sugar in our food gives us something called a bliss point. And if kids get addicted, and look at the kid, the, the sugars target or the, the cereals target at kids, 33% sugar is not unusual. Anything that we give kids, 33% of the calories in there being are, are sugar. When we get to that point, we hit a bliss point, and now we get addicted. Not now we want it, and it actually makes vegetables taste bitter. And if you ever ask a kid that won't eat vegetables, you almost always know the trade-off is sugar, and the vegetables will, will, will taste that way when they come up try to make children's vitamins they have a hard time putting vegetables in them because they, they just taste so bitter to them so how do we enjoy foods foods one is you know we have to balance everything out so our vegetables and, and our healthy proteins they need to be a big part of what we do but we need fruits just in the way they came not can not anything if they're frozen or fresh but we just need them in the way they are and a variety every color up here gives me a different protection protection so again, we have lots of good, good fruits out there. And you know, know also between, five, between zero and five, I really want kids to form their eating habits. You know, if you can stay away from sugars, they do, they'll do way, way, way better as far as that goes. Often kids, you know, because of the sugar, they limit all their other the calories that they eat. So they're getting really lots of calories, but low nutrition. If I do not have nutrition, the vitamin and minerals I need, I'll be hungry all the time. So then I eat another low calorie or a high calorie, low nutrition food, and I stay hungry. And I, and I just can't beat that, that, that hunger um, cycle on that. So again, we, we just want to say, I do not need the, the, the sugar there. I think something else that, that we do, and, and I've been guilty of it, that we really have to think about our reward system in this country. I played a good soccer game, so I go have ice cream. We did this, so we eat. We were just orientated everything around, around food. And it's really what our kids will remember is not the food they ate, they'll remember the experiences. And can we have reward to be more experience driven? Let's go for a walk with mom and dad. Let's play a game. Um, let, let's do anything that we as humans are interacting with each other. But let's not have it be a food reward. And, and I think the worst thing, sometimes we have food rewards and you see people sitting there, so they have an ice cream cone together. Instead of talking, they're actually on their cell phone. So it becomes just an addiction, which is a cell phone, addiction, which is the food. They're like a double addiction. We, we don't want to do that. So put our cell phones away, and how do we have experiences when we do it? When we look at you know, added sugar intake by source as a percentage of totally sugar intake by age, you know, I, I laugh, sugary drinks in that, you know, the, 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 the older and younger, and then it's in the middle in that, that, that the sugary drinks. But then we get grain-based, that would be donuts. It's the youngest and oldest that, that do that candy, youngest and oldest, you know, dairy desserts, youngest and oldest. You know, ready to, to eat cereals. Yet we, we look at the youngest by far, the ready to eat cereals in that. You know, I, I, you know, if you eat a healthy oatmeal, but if you get the pre-sweet and sugar oatmeals, oh my gosh, it's just unbelievable. So then we start to look at the total calories as, as far as people eating in that. And we do not want empty calorie to be the, 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 what we get our, our, our calories from. We want it to be as much as we can. And, and, and I think we make it so, so complicated it's just healthy fruits, vegetables, and, and healthy meats. You know, people ask, well, what about this fruit? What about that fruit? What about this vegetable? What about that vegetable? Honestly, fruits and vegetables, and then healthy meats, meaning non-processed meat, low-fat fat meats and that. And if we can get our proteins from, from vegetable sources, that's just tremendous. So again, we want to do as much as, as that as we possibly can. So in, in just closing, we want to, to get as many empty calories out of our diet as possible. Zero to five kids, if we could just keep the sugar out of their diet, their taste buds, their brain, everything will develop better to, to the healthier the eating habits. Dad, you play a massive role. If you want to eat broccoli, your kids won't eat broccoli. That's what the studies have showed. You know, you are just crazy, crazy important in, in that. And then, you know, there's something called Color My Diet. It's a great book that you try to, to play a game. You and the kids go shopping, you buy food, you come up with creative ways to, to eat them, meaning as many colors as possible. You have a 10 color you know, chart, 10 colors a week. Oh, we got our greens, we got our reds, we got our oranges. And don't eat any kind of fruit and vegetable. You just get them eating them in that. So we want as much variety, as much color as we can. Sugar is in everything, every, everything. 
those empty calories are absolutely destroying destroying our health in this country and that. We do not want to eat in empty calories. So again, keep it simple, healthy, you know, healthy meats, fruits and vegetables. Don't worry about, I mean, again, everybody gets kind of caught up. Don't, if you're in a class with me, raise your hand and say, oh, do carrots have sugar in them? Every vegetable has sugar in them and that. Of course they do. That's what a carbohydrate is. But it's, again, the empty calorie. So make sure when you eat a calorie, it has a reason that you're putting it in your body, not just for taste. You want it to take to carry you for the rest of your life. And your kids, man, what precious, precious, precious gems you have. You know, to feed them right is, is, is truly a gift for them for the rest of their life. We'll be talking on this series. We're going to talk more and more. So our next series, which we'll do in, in about two weeks in that, we're going to talk about, so now we're not eating sugar. What can I come up with some healthy alternatives? You know, healthy alternative is one is never shopping hungry. One is having, you know, healthy snacks ready for you. So we'll talk about something called ants in the log, which is just celery, peanut butter, and raisins. What a great snack when your kids come home instead of reaching for a sugary drink and a, and a donut or a, a bowl of sugar covered cereal. Let's make it easy because we're all tired. So let's make it easy. So we'll talk about some really fun tips about how to take care of ourselves and reduce the sugar at the same time.